So, what happens to us from this toxic exposure? Certainly a lot of things happen, but primarily our bodies stop responding the way they're supposed to. First understand that there are good metals. Calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, iron, in low doses, copper, manganese, boron. These things are necessary for life. They're cofactors in enzymes and proteins and they allow our body to work. What happens is when heavy metals get into our body, mercury, arsenic, cadmium, lead, tin, bismuth, aluminum, antimony, when these things get into our body, they replace the good metals. They can displace the good metals, take their place in enzymes and proteins, and therefore stop the body's natural processes. Different metals do different things because they're stored in different parts of the body. That's called sequestration. I'll give you just one example because it actually lends itself to some of the other things I'll say tonight. Does anyone know what a zinc finger protein is? You have to understand that proteins need a three-dimensional structure. Its three-dimensional structure tells you what it does. It's kind of like lock and key. If the key doesn't fit the lock, it's not going to turn, right? So zinc finger proteins have a zinc in the middle of the protein. It holds the shape of the protein. Zinc finger proteins are necessary for cellular division. Anytime you need a cell to divide and make a new cell, zinc finger proteins come in and help copy the DNA. That's part of its function. It's especially important in the healing process, and it's especially important in the immune system reactivity. When you have a bacterial infection or a viral infection, you need to make more white blood cells. Zinc finger proteins come in and help you make new cells. Okay? This is one of the reasons you might suck on a zinc lozenge when you have a cold. You get a zinc lozenge, more zinc, more zinc finger proteins, more white blood cells, you're able to fight the cold. Now it makes sense? Yeah. All right. Now, the problem is zinc can be displaced, usually by arsenic. If arsenic comes in and displaces the zinc, arsenic is smaller than zinc. The protein changes shape. Once it changes shape, it doesn't work anymore. It's like shaving off a piece of your key. It's not going to turn the lock. And so what happens when you have arsenic poisoning? You don't heal as well. Your immune system doesn't work as well. And one of the main reasons for that is because of downregulation of zinc finger protein activity. Does this make sense to everybody? So say you do something that removes the arsenic from your body. So say you take, we're going to talk about natural cellular defense. You use natural cellular defense, you reduce arsenic in the body, and you start to heal faster. You don't get sick as much. Did natural cellular defense prevent sickness? Did it make your body heal? No. All it did is take the thing out of your body that was slowing those processes down. All it did was allow your body to do what it's supposed to do, what it was made to do, to heal and to fight disease. Does that make sense to everybody?